Alrighty, now, a few days ago, okay, more like a week or two ago, I got an email from someone from Burst Oral Care saying that, hey, we saw your YouTube video, I represent them, um, would you like to go ahead and try our product? Me being the kind of person I am and the person that my mother raised, she said, never turn down free things. So I said, you know what, I will do that. I went ahead and um, let them know my information. I said, hey, by the way, I would be interested in this. I'll do a review for it. And they sent me the product. Letting you know ahead of time, I have not been paid at all to say anything for this review. Anything that does come from this review inside of this box, anything that is said, good or bad, is all me. The only thing that they have given me is the free product. So there's that. Anyway, anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get on with this unboxing and review of this product. First things first, uh, it does come in this cool little purple bag. It's pretty small, but it will not fit into a normal uh, mailbox if you're like me in Los Angeles. I have a small like uh, mail slot. This will not fit into it. So it was actually funny. I saw this laying on the table outside. We have like this little table where the mail goes and everything. And I did not know it was for me. I just saw like a purple package and I was like, I wonder who that's for. And then I looked at it and sure enough, it was for me. So I was like, wow, okay. Uh, it says some social media things up here, Burst Media, it's got blah blah blah, a huge smiley face on the back to show what your teeth are going to look like when you're done brushing with it. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and open this beastie up. Oh, fuck, that scared me, I don't know why, it sounded like a duck was coming out of it. So we open this guy, and um, coming in here, it feels like there is a... All right, so there's nothing else in the bo uh, bag. Do not give this to children. They might put it on their face because it shows a happy face and they might try to use it as like a fucking Halloween mask or something and they will suffocate. So don't use that. Um, this is what we got here. Let me, okay, cool. So it says burst. Hopefully that's not backwards in the video because in my screen it shows backwards. Uh, Burstworldcare.com. It's a cool little brown box. Sturdy design, I guess. Doesn't smell like it's been used. And, um, yeah, we will open this guy up and see what's inside. Oh, shit, okay. So, uh, plug me in and get ready to smile. Burst oral care, or burst care, hashtag, some other product placement. We'd love to hear about your burst experience. Follow us on this and this, your evolutionary toothbrush. Uh, some of the cool things in here. Uh, black bristles are best? Okay, I don't know if that's just for the black one or not. Oh shit, it is. It's for everything. So it's black bristles. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, bristles are totally uh, unique and highly blah blah blah. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and check all that out. It's got a pressure sensor, it's got a power up button and an uh, important gap. Aren't supposed to touch the brush heads aren't supposed to touch the handle. The small gap is an important design feature and enables your brush to produce maximum number of sonic vibrations. Oh, you want to check this out too? My cat Pip has just jumped on my lap and he's like, I hear you talking a bunch, but you're not talking to me. Um, thanks, Pip. He's adorable, as you can see him right here. Uh, it's got three different brushing modes. It's got a red cross that flashes when your battery's down to 20%. It's got a long battery life and it's got a base. Sweet, cool, cool. Uh, we've got this awesome little, it looks like a pamphlet or something. Let's see. Open this guy up. You get yourself plastic. Go play with that, Pip. Go, go play with it. Um, it's got a cool little book. Shows some models here, which is something that you don't see every day. They put a lot of money into the, the production value of this. Um, important part, every day we look to this. Oh, God, I do not like the London. I don't like the London look. The gap in the teeth? Why? No. I don't know why that's like the London look is all the rage. It's like, ugh. No, it's not. Um, like it, you're you're posing for a toothbrush thing. Get braces. Um, so it does show how to use your thing uh, FAQs using your burst brush. Uh, the white button is for whitening. The circle is for sensitive. The open circle is for massage, and the plus sign is for charging. And it does tell you exactly what each one of those does. Whitening will make your mouth sparkle and toggle to your favorite mode. Whitening. Who doesn't love white teeth? Don't understand how a toothbrush would actually be able to whiten your teeth unless it maybe sprays, like, bleach in your mouth. Maybe there's a plug in here that you can plug in and spray bleach in your mouth, but I don't know. Sensitive is probably, like, like slightly less vibrating. Massage is probably just going to be 
slightly even less vibrating. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a second. And then charging. And then it shows her, apparently your toothbrush also doubles as a microphone in case you want to use that. So there's that. Get involved online. Cool little booklet there. Inside here, we do see a bunch of other cool things that they have. They do have a the toothbrush itself. This actually looks pretty damn awesome. They got the base. I don't know what this is. Oh, I guess that goes on top of there to hold it in place. I don't know why it's in two different pieces, though. Why can't they just put that as one piece? And then you get your brush head right here. So let's go ahead. Oh, my God, I am congested. And I am sniffling. They got a cool little <laughs> their logo right here on the charger. I don't know if that's actually on the charger. Oh, it is on the charger. Okay, cool. So you can actually tell what charger this is because it does look like an iPhone charger. So whenever you plug this into the wall, you'll be able to figure out which one actually plugs in for your toothbrush. It does come with the charger itself here. Um, it's got a cool little stand. The charger itself is kind of, it's small, so it does not actually take up a fuck ton of space that'll normally go on like your thing. Like here's for size reference, if that makes sense. Um, so you can put it in a smaller area instead of those like giant like Sonicare things. Uh, USB here. Let's see how long this cord is actually to see if it actually makes sense. I think so. The cord is that's as long as the cord is, okay. Which, give or take, where you're putting this could be a good thing or could be a bad thing. For me, it will be a good thing because the plug is like that far away from where I am, so it's good. Some people, you know, you might want to put it on your nightstand and you can't like get it down into the back thing, so there's that. Uh, this guy right here is the thing that does go on top of this, I want to say. Yeah, it does. So it goes together like that. Again, I don't know why they just didn't make this one full piece. Like, why does it have to be two pieces? Maybe to clean it? I don't know. Or maybe just because you may or may not have bigger things that go on here. Maybe they have some other things that do that. I don't know. But for me, I, I, it, I mean, look, it's that big versus this big. Like, uh, you could just put, like together i don't know maybe i'll find out later maybe it's in the book maybe that's why i should have been reading everything um toothbrush head looks like this it is all sealed up for your protection for sanitary needs uh which i like i like when things are sanitary you don't want to go ahead and have um non-sanitary things and then let's see the brush oh my god those bristles are really soft holy crap that's yeah, those are very soft bristles. Holy shnikes. And if you look, I don't know if you can see that, if it'll focus on it or not. Do I have to do this, like makeup tutorials? Let's see the makeup brush tutorial. Um, the bristles here are like very, very thin at the top, like very thin, and then they're thicker down here. But they are all very, very soft. Like that feels like horse hair. And there's like this weird, as you can see right there, right here, in the middle there's a white thing. That white thing is like a, let's see, it's a, like a piece of plastic. It's not firm, it's kind of soft, but it's still like, I guess it's to stimulate the tooth growth. And then you got yourself the toothbrush itself. Holy shit, this thing is big. Okay, so this is for size comparison. My hand is not the biggest hand, but it's like that. Uh, I wish I had a tape measure so I can actually measure how big it is, but it is, I would say that's probably 12 inches or so. Um, it's got a cool feeling handle, like this is all like, looks very, uh, geometric, if that's the word, yeah. Can you hear that? Oh fuck, that was terrifying, I thought it sounded like the, it sounded like the, um, oh my god, it sounded like the, 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 the emergency broadcast system, the boo, so that kind of scared me for a second. Okay, that doesn't feel like a lot of vibration. Like the handle doesn't feel like it's vibrating a lot, and the this top here does not feel like it's vibrating a lot at all. I mean, I might need to put the brush top on it to actually feel how it's gonna be. All right, so. Oh, Kidoki, never fucking never mind. <laughs> so, so you put the brush head on top, and that turns this little like. This, okay, so this does not vibrate at all. It feels like it's not. The minute you put this brush head on it, it goes into sonic overdrive. Like, this thing is now brushing, like, oh my god. My face is going numb where this is sitting. Holy shit, that's a lot. Um, it's got a tongue scraper on the back. I don't know if I showed you that. Like, it's got a little tongue scraper. But 
holy crap. Never been a fan of how big toothbrushes are that are like, you know, like fucking big brushes. You know, the so here's the whole thing on the setup. So it's got a weird like, see that like it looks like a keyhole, but on here it does not show that little keyhole area. So I guess you just put it wherever you want it. Sure. Okay. Well, fuck. So that's everything that's in the box. The box. What's in the box? This is what's in the box. Oh shit! Sorry, Pip. I almost killed my cat that way. Um, so that's everything in there. It does have some charge on it already. So as you can tell, it's got a little bit of charge. I should probably, oh, there you go. And I just switch it to massage mode. Oh, that's terrifying. It has, it's in like pulses. So, <laughs> so the first one is a buzz. The second one, well, that, you turn it off apparently. So you touch, touch, and then it goes straight to this one. So you have to do it quick in order to switch it or else it go, turns off. Never mind. I don't know what's going on. Let me get the instructions and I'll figure this out. To power up, to switch between the, press the power button in fast succession. Okay, cool. So yeah, you have to press it in fast succession to be able to do that. So turning it on, one button. Switching it. Okay, so there you go. That's how you would switch it. It's just really quick. It's also supposed to have a two minute timer on it, so that way when you brush, it'll go ahead and brush one side. You brush to the corner, all this side for whatever, 30 seconds, and then pulse, and then you switch to this side, 30 seconds, up top, 30 seconds, and then over here, 30 seconds. And you're supposed to do from like your top teeth all the way to the back, and then do this entire thing, 30, and then the inside, and then this side. Um, but I don't know how that will affect the timer. Do you have to do the entire thing with just that one pulse? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So let's go ahead and do a uh, brush test. So I've already brushed my teeth today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again just to see exactly what this is all about. So I'm gonna take it in the bathroom and I'll see you there. Another thing I also forgot, comparing the size, this is my Quip toothbrush, the very small toothbrush that I have, which compared to other toothbrushes is fairly small. This is the first oral care toothbrush. So if you look, it's a very big toothbrush. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get some toothpaste. Let's go ahead and get this all set and see what's up. Shit. My girlfriend would be pissed at me if she knew I just slammed that. Put some toothpaste on this. This does not come with toothpaste, so you have to go ahead and use your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't really want to uh, videotape this because it'd be weird. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and tape it anyways, and then if anything, I'll just fast forward through it. So we'll go ahead and get some water on it. Um, people that wet your toothbrush first before putting uh, toothpaste on, you're weird, and you should really be checked out by a psychologist. All right, so let's go. Let's do this test, which I did with the Quip. I'm going to turn it on and see if it actually sprays everywhere. Oh, my God. Yes, it does. Okay, so you do not... <laughs> so you definitely, you definitely want to go ahead and turn this on in your mouth, or else it'll go everywhere. Um, as you see, it like liquefied the toothpaste that was there. Um, you know, it's, I don't know. Let's, <laughs> I, let me, I've never had this experience before. Let me keep it on and see how much of the toothpaste actually disappears or not. Okay. Can you guys still see that? Let me see. All right. So it's going everywhere, rotating it. That just, okay. So don't know if you saw any of that because my hand was covering up because I didn't want it to go literally everywhere. I think it's on my face too. Yeah, it's right there on my face. But it literally just liquefied that toothpaste. Um, so I don't know how that would do in your mouth, you know, because it, like now I, I don't know how toothpaste works. Is toothpaste supposed to be like liquefied? I mean, eventually it will because you're scrubbing it. But is it supposed to be like that when you are... I don't know, like, are you supposed to scrub the toothpaste on your teeth, or are you supposed to be able to turn it into water and then do that? All I know is that was terrifying, so let's go ahead and try that again. We're going to put another thing of toothpaste on it, and this time we're going to stick it in our mouth and then start it and see what happens. we got to wet it again. Let's get going.
My rib are going numb. Okay. So. Well, let's see. Alrighty. So I noticed already that the power on that, my lips feel numb right now because when you use this, it'll spray everywhere unless you close your lips like you should like a normal human being. And if you brush with your teeth open, your mouth open, you're weird. I had a roommate, uh, a roommate that used to brush like that. He would brush like this and it would go everywhere all over the, anyways. Um, but yeah, so when you do that and your lips are closed down on this, your lips go, like my lips are numb right now. Um, do I feel like I got a satisfying brush? Sure, you know, it feels very satisfying. Um, obviously you still wanna go ahead and floss and rinse with some mouthwash, okay? Just to be a little dense right there. Uh, but it's, it, my lips are numb. My teeth are a little bit numb. It's an interesting feeling going from a quip toothbrush with a very slight pulse to one of these that has a gigantic, um, a gigantic uh, vibration to it. I feel like I should probably try uh, brushing with the the slightly less the sensitive setting because that would be a um, it wouldn't probably wouldn't go as numb as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Um, again, if anything, I'll just speed this up in post-production. Okay, so, yeah. So, while it does prevent your lips from going as numb, they're still numb. Um, it's a slightly less, um, it's a less violent pulse, I guess you can say. The only downside is that, um, what I've noticed is that it, when you, let me go and do that. Ooh, that's one thing I don't like already is that, see, they mentioned that when you go ahead and they said in the thing that it shouldn't it should have a gap here because then it makes the you can see right there through it you can see like that they said that it needs to have that to make it vibrate violently and um when you're done brushing you might get water in there so you might want to take that off and then oh yeah i just felt water come right out you might want to take that off and actually clean uh whereas other toothbrushes you may not need to do that um but that's just me, you know, some people might be okay with that. They might even think to themselves, hey, I wanna clean it every single time I'm done using it because germs. Um, one thing I did notice going from the, the normal setting to the other setting, if you're doing it in the middle of your brush, let's say that you want to do that, uh, it does not keep track of the pulses and uh, how long it's been. It's a two minute time, so 30, 30, 30, 30. If you do it 10 seconds in, it will restart that. Cause I was already the way over here and I tried resetting it or I tried switching it up just to see how it felt and it automatically switched right back to the two minute timer. Unless I'm doing something wrong, please let me know if I am. Uh, the massage, it seems like it's not, like so this brush is meant to be a vibrating brush. It's meant to be a like here's your teeth and here they are on crack. Um, but it is not, that is not, if you're looking for this kind of brush, shit, oh my god, <laughs> I forgot there was still water on it, so that was a bad idea. Alright, cool, so that head is not going anywhere, normally I have to do the flick test to be able to see if the heads fly off immediately. Um, okay, cool, now it's dry, but no, I still feel some, but anyways. So um, this, you want to be able to use that to go ahead and brush your teeth, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you're using the slightly less pulse, you still do that. If you're using massage, it doesn't really do anything. Yes, it gives you the pulses, but it's in such a, 
I don't know, it feels very like it's not... When I was using it, it didn't feel like it's getting anything clean, if that makes sense. I mean, sure, it might, and also normal brushing would do that, but since these bristles are so soft, it doesn't feel like you're getting any scrubbing done. And they also say that you're not supposed to brush as hard. So I'm used to a brush that has slightly, not less than soft bristles, but it has bristles that you know you're making contact and you're kind of meant to use a scrubbing motion to do that. This, I feel like if you were to push down on your teeth, uh, you know, to get that scrubbing done, that since these are so fine, like the bristles are so fine, that it's not gonna get anything done on it, you know? Like I noticed, I have a little bit of, um, I still have a little bit of shit in my teeth up here from when I ate breakfast this morning. And um, as I was brushing, it, it did not come out. I mean, yes, you need to floss to be able to get everything out, but normally if I were to brush with anything else, it would take it out immediately. Um, that's the one downside I don't like about Sonic toothbrushes and those kinds that vibrate a bunch, is that as you are using it, you don't necessarily feel um, like you're getting anything accomplished because you're, you're, you get into the habit of just holding it, you know, just the bzzz, you don't really scrub, you know, with it, which I feel like you would need to do with a normal toothbrush in order to get, you know, plaque and whatever off. Then again, this can easily, okay, now it started at massage, I don't know, that was weird. But then again, this is also meant to vibrate away all that plaque and grime and all that crap. So I don't know. Um, I'll have to use it again. Um, I'll try it again tomorrow morning to see exactly how it is. And um, yeah, so let's get back and give some final thoughts. Um, so there's that. Looking on the website, you will see that it says the most powerful, most effective toothbrush on the market, 33,000 sonic vibrations per minute which it seems like that is very true. Four week battery life, I don't know about that, but you know what? I'm pretty sure that if it is using a rechargeable battery, like a normal one, it probably could, you know, because my uh, Duracell, whatever, you know, brushing just for two minutes, it does go ahead and actually last for three months. So if this is a four week battery life with the amount that it's going with the it's doing, then yeah, I could say four weeks is probably about right. I realize that the handle does feel pretty cool. Like it feels pretty cool just to do this, you know, like, yeah. But, um, yeah, it still feels like it could slip from your grip. You know, like if you're, you know, doing shit, it might slip out because there's no texture to it. Uh, well, I mean, there is texture, but like still holding it like this, you might, like it still could slide out because of the whatever. Uh, endorsed and highly uh, recommended by thousands of dentists and hygienists. Cool. Um, it does say that it is $69.99 plus free shipping. Um, that is to get your initial setup that I showed you, which includes the charger, it does include the brush, it includes the uh, Sonic bzz, 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 and um, it does also include all of your little packets and stuff. Not a lot for $69, but then again, you are getting a super toothbrush. You know, you're getting one of those toothbrushes that is a very, like, I'm a toothbrush, I will buzz really loud. Um, and then if you do subscription, it does say via subscription only. So you have to sign up for the subscription program in order to get this. You can't just buy one and then be done with it. Um, subscription only $6 per replacement head and you can cancel at any time. So that is nice that you cancel at any time. However, $6 per re replacement head. Um, I'm going to make a guess that it's $6 every, let me go ahead and check this real quick. It's $6 every month. Yeah, so you, sorry, you get one toothbrush, the USB charger, the toothbrush head, and the wall socket. And then, yes, $6 for a toothbrush head every three months. So it's $6 for one head every three months. Uh, at the end of the year, you're spending $24, I believe, for uh, this toothbrush. And you've got everything you need right here. Um, which is kind of nice, uh, as opposed to other programs where you go ahead and, you know, they give you toothpaste and stuff. This does only come with the head. So that is something that is not my favorite because then you do still need to get toothpaste. You do still need to get, um, uh, well, you won't need a battery. Never mind because it plugs in. So never mind. You do still need to get toothpaste though. But then again, I'm guessing this is so that way you can go ahead and get your own toothpaste. You don't need to stick to one brand. You can go ahead and get Sensodyne if you want. You can get Arm & Hammer. Whatever. 
So yeah, six dollars is not bad at all for three months. So six dollars every three months. I mean, you're looking at two dollars a month. Pretty damn good. Um, and but I just don't know how these bristles are gonna fare up against the against the test of uh, three months. You know, so that's the one thing that kind of worries me because they're so sensitive. They're so soft. Quad paste timer. Uh, charcoal bristles, three brushing modes, powerful long-lasting lithium battery, 3,000 whatever, two-minute timer, um, a new head every three months. Uh, cool. And then we got some people that are saying they recommend the product uh, for a title. One person just put question marks. First time users, five star, five star, five star. Uh, one is just a zero star, but that's a registered dental hygienist, which is a burst ambassador. I don't know what burst ambassador means, but every single one of these are. I'm guessing that's the people that subscribe to this. Um, there's a thousand reviews on here, but anyways, so that is the burst oral care toothbrush um, Yeah, let me know how it is on there. There is actually no I, It does not seem like there is any referral areas then again I don't have an account on here, so I do not know but I don't think that there actually is one There's an area that you can go ahead and send it as a gift pack. So there is that um, and it does come with a gift card and you redeem it online, and it's for a year's supply of brush heads. So that's pretty cool. Uh, to gift it now, let's see exactly how much that is. To, a, a gift pack is $87.99. So $69.99, and then you also get the one-year supply gift card. So that's technically adding $24 extra dollars. Seems like the math on it is pretty damn good. So there's that, and then you get to choose between black or white. Uh, oh, wait a second, hold on. In this thing, it's showing three other heads. Oh, it's for a year supply, which is three more heads. So never mind, it's not twenty-four dollars for a year supply. You are only getting six, eighteen more dollars. So, eighteen sixty-nine. So it's about the same price. All right. So there's no real difference there. That's just if you want to go ahead and get them a year supply ahead of time, you can do that. So, anyways, that is the uh, Burst Oral Care toothbrush. Um, I will go ahead and be using it for the next, uh, you know, like the next month or so, and I will go ahead and make another update video to see exactly how it has been. So there is that, and let's go ahead and see you later.